I am an African. Do you remember your dreams? Top 10 Unbelievable Places in Africa You Have to Visit The world is filled with many interesting, and mesmerizing places, and many of these places are found in Africa. In fact there are too many in Africa to mention all at once, so in this list today we are just going to be covering 10 of these amazing places. If you are considering traveling to Africa anytime soon, you can grab a pen and paper and put a few of these places on your list. Welcome back to African Abba. As always, your number one source for Africa. Thank you for watching, and please like this video, share, and subscribe, it's free. And also leave us a comment on what you would like to see next. And as we are starting this journey, the first 500 subscribers will receive a shout out as a token of our appreciation. Just press the red subscribe button below. And remember there are so many spectacular places in Africa they just couldn't be ranked in order of best to least, so in no particular order here we go. Number 1. Nozi Aranja, Madagascar. This has to be one of the most spectacular places you can find in Africa. Put simply it's a paradise. Your eyes are not ready for the overload of colors that you are going to experience. Every color on earth will be found in this location. Located 30 miles south of the Big Island, two islands come together to create Nozi Aranja, when the ocean draws back during low tide, creating a pathway in the middle of the ocean for people to walk across. And it gives people that perfect picture for Instagram. But if you can't swim, you wouldn't exactly want to hang out there, because once the water starts to connect back together during high tide, you will find yourself stuck in the middle of the ocean. A small traditional village as well as an abandoned lighthouse and a resort can be found on the island, the only drawback is that getting to the island can be a little bit difficult. You can only get to the island by speedboat or helicopter. Truly a hidden gem. There are a number of aquatic and land activities you can partake in besides relaxing on the beach. You can go on a Dow cruise, try on windsurfing, snorkeling, jet ski rides or simply take a walk within the land. Staying in Nozi Aranja will also be the perfect occasion to go scuba diving into the lagoon's fish populated waters. You will find a lot of exotic fishes there, as well as stingrays and sea turtles. Breathtaking. Truly a paradise. Pristine waters so clear, and every shade of blue you can imagine. Number 2. Great Zimbabwe Ruins. Zimbabwe. The capital of the Kingdom of Zimbabwe during the country's late Iron Age. The city began in the 11th century and continued until it was abandoned in the 15th century. Great Zimbabwe is believed to have served as a royal palace for the local monarch. As such, it would have been used as the seat of political power. Among the edifice's most prominent features were its walls, some of which were over 5 meters high. They were constructed without mortar. Eventually, the city was abandoned and fell into ruin. Studies of the monument were controversial in the archaeological world, with political pressure being put upon archaeologists by the government of Rhodesia to deny its construction by native African people. In 1531, Vicente Pagado, captain of the Portuguese garrison of Sofala wrote. Among the gold mines of the inland plains between the Limpopo and Zambezi rivers there is a fortress built of stones of marvelous size, and there appears to be no mortar joining them. This edifice is almost surrounded by hills, upon which are others resembling it in the fashioning of stone in the absence of mortar, and one of them is a tower more than 12 fathoms, 22 meters, high. The natives of the country call these edifices Zimbabwe, which according to their language signifies court. It is today a national monument for the country of Zimbabwe. There are 200 of such sites in southern Africa, Great Zimbabwe, being the biggest. Number 3. Pyramid of Giza, Egypt is the oldest and largest of the three pyramids in the Giza pyramid complex bordering present-day Giza in Greater Cairo, Egypt. It is also the most famous of the structures at Giza. Egyptologists believe that the pyramid was built as a tomb over a 10 to 20 year period concluding around 2560 BC. It was built around 2650 BC from 2.5 million blocks of limestone. Its sides are oriented exactly to the north, south, east and west. Many theories exist concerning how these pyramids were built, but one thing that's not a theory, is that, they are incredible. It is considered one of the seven wonders of the world. Number 4. Maasai Mara and the Great Migration, Kenya. The Maasai Mara is a large national game reserve in Narok, Kenya, named in honor of the Maasai tribe. It has exceptional populations of lions, African leopard, cheetah and elephants. It is where you can catch the Great Migration where more than a million wildebeest and several hundred thousand zebra make their annual migration. 
The animals moved from Tanzania's Gorogoro Reserve in January, up through the Serengeti around June and hit Kenya's Masai Mara around September, before journeying south again. Number 5. Pink Lake, Senegal. Lac Rose. Located in Senegal some 30 kilometers, 18 miles, northeast of the capital, Dakar. It named the Pink Lake, well, because it's pink. The color of the lake is caused by its Dunnail yellow salina algae and is known for its high salt content. The lake is located a few minutes away from the Atlantic Ocean. On your trip to the lake you will find people working on the lake, collecting salt. The salt collected is exported to other parts of West Africa. It's really a sight to see, but you'll have to go at the right time. The pink lake isn't always pink. During the rainy season the lake loses much of its pink color, and comes back during the dry season, during November to June. Number 6. Cape Coast Castle, Ghana. The Cape Coast Castle is a historical landmark located in Cape Coast, Ghana. One of about 40 forts built by European traders in present-day Ghana during the era of the slave trade. This building which many have rightly dubbed a dungeon, carries a lot of history, and insight concerning the slave trade which happened across the Atlantic connecting to Americas. Many each year take a pilgrimage here to reach the door of no return, as a point of closure for those whose ancestors were taking through those doors to never return. Another similar dungeon is the Elmina Castle, which is the oldest European building in Africa. The dungeon has been visited by many notable figures such as American President Barack Obama, CNN anchor Don Lemon, and recently in 2019, thousands of African descendants from America, the Caribbean and South America, during Ghana's 2019 Year of Return campaign accompanied by over 80 American celebrities such as Beyoncé's mother Tina Knowles, Yandy Smith, Anthony Anderson, Ebro of Hot 97, model Naomi Campbell, rapper D.I. and rapper Ludacris, comedian Steve Harvey, American talk show host Conan O'Brien, actress Rosario Dawson, and many more celebrities. My ancestors, and usually when we're out here, we also um, sing the Black National Anthem. what instigated that conflict. Number 7. Pyramids of Meroe, Sudan. Many people know of the Egyptian pyramids but very few have heard of the Sudan pyramids. The pyramids of Meroe are part of a larger group of Nubian pyramids built at the time of the Kushite Kingdom. The Nubian pyramids are recognized as World Heritage Site. They are however not as easy to reach for regular travelers as compared to the Egyptian pyramids. The pyramids are located in eastern Sudan, along the banks of the Nile River, and are about 200 in total. Many of them are tombs of the kings and queens of the Meroitic kingdom which ruled the area for more than 900 years. In terms of size, the pyramids are smaller than the ones in Egypt, but in terms of numbers, they are more than their counterparts in Egypt. Inside the pyramids you can also find hieroglyphics on the walls. Number 8. Rock Hewn, Church, Ethiopia. Lalibela is a town in Ethiopia and it is where the Rock Hewn churches are located. Ethiopia was one of the earliest nations to adopt Christianity, all the way back in the 4th century and therefore has strong Christian roots. The rock hewn churches are considered a world heritage site. The most famous of the 11 churches is the Church of St. George. The area is named Lalibela after King Gebremesco Lalibela who commissioned its construction. Number 9. 
Mount Kilimanjaro, Tanzania. It's one of the most famous mountains in the world, and the highest mountain in Africa. It's easy to get a shot of it whilst you're flying across in an airplane. 5,895 meters, 19,341 feet, above sea level and about 4,900 meters, 16,100 feet, above its base. And it is fourth on the list of the seven summits around the world. Kilimanjaro is very popular with both experienced hikers and first-time adventurers because it is considered to be the easiest of the seven summits, however most people who attempt to climb it fail. The journey to the summit is like a trip from the equator to Antarctica. Hot on the bottom cold on the top. It is also the world's tallest freestanding mountain. Number 10. Table Mountain, South Africa. Table Mountain is a flat top mountain forming a prominent landmark overlooking the city of Cape Town in South Africa. It is a huge tourist attraction drawing many thousands of visitors yearly. The Table Mountain Aerial Cableway 41, takes passengers from the lower cable station on Toffelberg Road, about 302 meters, 991 feet, above sea level. To the plateau at the top of the mountain, at 1,067 meters, 3,501 feet. The upper cable station offers views overlooking Cape Town, Table Bay, Lion's Head and Robben Island to the north, and the Atlantic seaboard to the west and south. Below the mountain is a splendid view of the city, and the ocean beside it, alongside million-dollar mansions. Some of the most expensive houses in South Africa. Thank you for watching. Did you find any new places you never knew existed? Know of any other interesting places in Africa? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next release. Bringing Africa to your home.